was with Kotite, and this is why people don't like me. Now, I'm really bad at memorizing, so I made this list, but I'm just going to read from it. Um, I'm shy, especially around large groups of people. I talk really fast. I think out loud. I sing in public and the bathroom. I have messy hair, usually. I always play with my hair. I'm lazy. I procrastinate. I do things and say things without thinking. I'm immature. I eat too much, especially junk food. I'm overly opinionated. I'm stubborn. I'm naive. I'm gullible. I casually curse. I overreact. I'm ignorant of world events. I'm obsessed with TV and the internet. I'm messy. I'm not spontaneous. And I'm a victim of cyberbullying. So, it was my freshman year of high school. And a few weeks prior to this incident, there was this guy who was online telling me that nobody liked me and I didn't have any friends. And he started saying all these nasty things about me. And he ended up getting suspended for three weeks. Following that, I got a really nasty email threatening me and my family from somebody else. And I was really upset about it. I didn't understand why anybody would do that, especially because I really didn't talk to that many people in school. So what could I have possibly done to invoke this? And, you know, they went on this manhunt to find the guy. Eventually, they did find him, but only because of this situation. So after many weeks of them searching and telling people to come forward, it was my birthday. And I just come back from dinner with my family. And in our, like, storage delivery area, there was this huge thing of roses. And I was thinking, ooh, roses, I wonder if they're for me. And my mother assured me, no, they were not for me because, you know, all my relatives would send me flowers later. They wouldn't send me on that day. And I was like, okay, whatever. So I went upstairs, and maybe five, ten minutes later, the delivery came up. And I was like, oh, my God, these roses are for me. And my mother was like, how could those roses possibly be for you? They were very expensive. And I went and I noticed there was this little card. And I went and I opened the card. And inside were the words, I did it, I'm sorry, and then the person's name. And I was like, holy shit. Like, why would they do that? I don't understand why they would do this. And, you know, he tried to call me to explain everything over the next few days. My parents wouldn't let him. And I started feeling really guilty. I wanted to talk to him. And I think that's my problem. I think I get easily emotional and guilted into things because I really wanted to talk to him even though he was allowed to talk to me and I was allowed to talk to him. <sighs> no, I feel really bad about the whole situation. I think he was just doing it to like impress some other people. I don't think it was entirely his fault. Um, yeah, we moved on with our lives though. He was kicked out of school, but I found that things actually turned out pretty well for him after that. Apparently, getting kicked out was a blessing in disguise. And I moved on with my life. My life has been pretty good since then, so, yeah. Bye, everyone.